morning and welcome to Monday. No matter how many times I push my underwear drawer back in, it keeps popping out. I don't know what's wrong with that. I'm going to have to do something to fix it. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to another week. As you know, as I have said, we are going to be doing our weekly collection of stuff and talks and things and putting it together on the weekend. Unless I'm joining in a collaboration that needs to be done on the weekend, I will do that then instead. So Monday, what's Monday been like? It's rainy, it's not snowy, so that's good. Joey still isn't 100%. He has been watching this morning a show called Dirty Money. And Dirty Money looks at all the different, as it suggests, the ways that people are, um, yeah, being naughty with money. So this morning he was looking at payday loans and uh, how they work and how they rip people off. And he gave me a little bit of an explanation that he may or may not allow me to insert into the video. Uh, he's allowed me to record it and think about it. But I think maybe he was worried about not getting the explanation right. So therefore... Didn't want to feel judged. I don't know. I'm not sure about this colour on me. It's my husband's jumper. Do you like wearing your husband's or your significant other's clothes? I do. But yeah, I'm not I'm not real sure about the colour of a dag, really, aren't I? <laughs> it's okay. I'm I'm totally okay with that. So I guess you need to be as well. Quite like who I am. Dagginess and all. So you're borrowing that? You're explaining so you payday loans. Your yep. Out of five of five hundred and twenty. Yep. In the next two weeks you're getting hundred and twenty taken out of your account. Yep. And so that should take it down to four hundred. You'll remember if you watched it my twenty-five things that make me happy vlog last weekend. Well, this funny guy, this clown. Oh me. Just made my lunch and uh, I don't know whether you, oh puppy dog, if you remember the butter was one of my things that made me happy. This is what, I've just come to get my lunch and this is what I found. Yep. He buttered my bread. Hmm. You think you're funny? After the wife says, can I trust you to put enough butter on my bread? <laughs> I said, do I need to come and butter my bread or can I trust you to do it properly? Is what I said. Joey running away from the camera on our way to coding club. I think he's a bit sick of me vlogging. We're on our way to MMU. <laughs> Waving me away. Today's the day we co we showcase our game that we've coded. So today's vlog is going to be about that. So I will try and do my best to explain that as we go throughout the day or the morning. And um, yeah, tell you what it's all been about. It's been a great project actually. Hello, welcome to Wednesday. So we've done Monday, very short Monday. We have done Tuesday, which is really just going to be about our game showcase. We also went trampolining yesterday. Joey does a trampolining class in the afternoon. Very selfishly, don't always like to record at these things because I spend the time chatting with friends. <laughs> Um, you know, often I didn't yesterday because I'd kind of felt all coffeeed out, but you know, often buying a cup of coffee and sitting there and having a good old chin wag with people and catching up, which I think is really important. I find more and more at home ed things that they're becoming drop in events and that takes the social element out of it for the parents as well, which I think is isolating if they are the only events that you ever go to as a parent. For me, those times as a home ed mum or a home ed parent are really crucial to battling those feelings of isolation, making the time in my week to have deep and meaningful conversations with, with people that like that kind of thing too, I think is really important. I've often said as a home ed mum, but I think it's true of every environment that you're in you need people around you that when the going gets tough can sing your heart back to you 
So the quote actually says that when the going gets tough, you need friends around you who can sing the song in your heart when you've forgotten the words, I think is the general gist of the quote. I know I'm not quoting that correctly. And I think that that is really true. When the going gets tough in no matter the arena of life, you need those people that remind you of why you've signed up for something, why you're doing something, why you've made the decisions that you've made because we all have those moments where we just want to give up it can be really tough you know it can it's some days it's like being in the trenches point of this ramble make time to have people in your life that sing your heart back to you when you've forgotten the words make time to cultivate those kinds of friendships dig in deep put down roots prepared to be a little bit vulnerable, prepared to get a little bit burnt a couple of times over as you know, you try it and the, they're the wrong people. That's just life. Don't stop seeking out those people and friendships because they are so crucial in parenting in general to have people that you can trust with your story on a bad day. And no, just because your child has done X, Y, Z, just because your husband has done or your partner or your wife or whoever has done X, Y, Z, that, that doesn't make them a bad person, doesn't make them a terrible person. It's not a desperate situation necessarily. <laughs> Might be some days, but they can be trusted with your story and they can be trusted to see it objectively. They can be trusted to give sound advice and wisdom and they can be trusted to empathize rather than judge so yeah there's my bit of wednesday wisdom there's a thought wednesday wisdom can't quite like that idea <laughs> anyway i'm going to put this down for now and get a, another cup of coffee i've got some videos i need to make because i'm away next week and so i want to have something to go out while i'm away and then hopefully the week after i can put some things up from when i was away so yeah exciting stuff <laughs> We'll catch you soon. Bye. Hi, and welcome to the channel Just Maria D. I am Maria. And today, March 8th, marks our, our 10 year anniversary of living in England as a family. Good morning. Today is Saturday. It is Mothering Sunday here in the UK tomorrow, but we are going to do it today because we are off on a home ed camp tomorrow and I want to cook breakfast quite frankly so hopefully at some point people will get up and and do breakfast it's five past nine <laughs> i'm just trying to think what i did through the week so i can't remember whether i told you that we did philosophy on thursday then friday morning is drama morning for us where i am the person that opens the i have i have a lovely tradition that most friday mornings i go for a coffee with a girlfriend which has become quite an important part of my week i find it to be both therapeutic and soul feeding and friendship building. And then I also had the fortunate time of having a visit and a walk in a park with some girlfriends yesterday afternoon and also having coffee with them as well. I feel like I'm full of good people and good thoughts. So as I said, today, quasi mothering Sunday, I suppose, and getting ready. So lots of washing today in order to go to camp tomorrow. I like big goods and I can no lie. Yeah. Look at those. Look at those eggs. Who did those? You? I did. Yeah. Yeah, happy you. Mothering Saturday to me. And happy Mother's Day to you too. <laughs> that looks so good. Everybody's jealous. No, I'm not. My breakfast brings the boys to the yard. Maybe not, hey. <laughs> oh, hello. Walk down the stairs, out of breath. Oh my gosh, I need to do something about my fitness. Just had a shower, was having a little giggle to myself in the shower. Do you ever giggle to yourself in the shower when you look back on the things that you've done during the day and the week and the funny things you've said and, you know, all you can do really is laugh at yourself. Joey's laughing at me over there. I regularly have a little bit of a laugh about the things that I say and do during the week. My friend Leone on Facebook posted a quote by one of the popes actually about not taking ourselves so seriously. And uh, yeah, I think, you know what? <laughs> I can't remember the last time I took myself seriously. <laughs> 
wonder why. Because I just do such ditzy things all the time and, um, you know, I just am who I am. So anyway, that's what I was doing, having a little giggle, giggle in the shower. I can't even remember about what now. But you know what, I actually find that to be quite a healing thing as well because I think self-examination is good. Like I think that being mindful of who we are and the things we say and the footprint we leave on the world is a good thing. But getting all pent up about that and wrapped up about that is not a good thing in terms of we need to be able to have a bit of a laugh at ourselves and we need to be able to forgive ourselves. And for me, part of having a laugh at myself is part of the process of forgiving myself sometimes as well. So anyway, that was not what I wanted to come downstairs and talk to you about at all. I've literally jumped out the shower, thrown on my dressing gown because I wanted to come and talk to you before I forgot what I wanted to talk to you about, which was Gina, gorgeous thing, you, Gina Walters, go and check her out. Thank you for a shout out, it was so unexpected. So deeply humbled by that. I know that it was wrapped around the fact that we have a similar journey in that you moved to Australia 10 years ago and I moved to England. But yeah, I just, I just wanted to take the time to say thank you. I am a person that gives energy where there is energy. If I meet a brick wall with people and there's no energy, very rarely do I push through that brick wall anymore. But you have the most beautiful energy and I love the reciprocal nature of your energy that you don't take anything for granted and anyone for granted. And, and I just think that that is such a great trait in a person. And so I just wanna say, not only thank you for the shout out, but being the amazing, sunshiny, energetic, reciprocal, beautiful woman that you are in the world. Yeah, wish you all the best with your journey wherever it shall take you and for however long I get to be a part of that. Thank you for being you in this season of my life. It's appreciated. Second thing, our neighbors put their house up for sale. Our neighbor has put her house up for sale and I got a message from a friend this morning and she said, we're thinking about buying the house next door to you. Another home, home ed family. And I'm thinking, yay, that'd be so cool. Imagine if another home ed family moved in next door, like how crazy our street would be. <laughs> Regardless of who moves in next door, it's a whole new season. And um, yeah, I'll be sad to see our neighbor go. She's a lovely lady, really humble, lovely lady with a heart of gold. And it will be sad to see her go, but um, yeah. Interesting times, hey, interesting changes. Just letting you know that I am going away next week. We are booked into a home ed camp. I don't know whether I've mentioned this before already. And so my channel may look differently next week. I'm going to try and get things done before I go, but like I'm not convinced I'm going to be able to, so we'll see. So if things don't look quite the same, if I don't manage to upload the way I'm supposed to, then forgive me. That's supposed to be two hands. <laughs> And uh, yeah, things will return to normal at some point. Probably not the week after because I've got a bit of a funny week that week as well. So we'll see how we go. But you guys are forgiving and graceful and I love you for it. We'll catch you on the flip side.